Well, hello and welcome back. We really are happy you're here to farm with the Stovers. Last episode, we, we did a farm tour, walked around the main farm, and we found uh, this cattle trailer up at the cattle barn, and it was missing a wheel. Well, I got it down here in the heated shop, and I know why. We've got it fixed. Let me show you what the problem was. So this uh, Flegel trailer has got a uh, got a hydraulic uh, lowering and raising kit on it, and these lines were completely cracked. One of them was actually blown out. So it looks like Bob Anderson, uh, again, the, the farmer that was here before us, uh, just pulled the wheel, was getting ready to fix it, but never never got around to it. So we've got that done. I got new, uh, new hoses in there, and uh, I got to fill up the, the reservoir with some hydraulic fluid and, and test it out. So this isn't, I don't think, a full wet kit on this, this trailer, but there's a reservoir for uh, some hydraulic fluid, and you, you can plug a tractor in here. I, I don't know if this is going to work with, with my Super Duty or not, but you know, the, the tank's full. Let's give it a try. Truck sounds good. Give it, a, give it a little bit here to build up some pressure. And let's uh, let's see if this if this works. Yeah. That's great. Want to come back around here and see if uh, see if we're leaking anything. Looks. Pretty good to me. I think we can call that a success. All right, let's pull this out of here. And uh, I think this episode, we're, we got to get down to the bank. We got to get some funds transferred over because we got to buy equipment. Uh, I got to get some trucks in here. And I think it might be a good idea to drive by our local dealership and show you what's there and get this show on the road. So let's. Uh, we're heading into town here, and I'm, I I got this this amazing GoPro mount. Uh, that you can just attach it anywhere, uh, and, and it sticks. The air, your truck, the ground, just works. Pretty cool, I think. And uh, fortunately, we're pretty we're pretty close to town from the farm. Not that long of a drive at all. Uh, Bloomfield is uh, it's fairly uh, got some nice establishments. A uh, couple of a uh, couple of places, eateries you can you can go to. What I love though is the main dealership here up on the left, and uh, we're, we're going to definitely be spending some money over there uh, very soon. By the looks of it, too, I also am really low on gas. I'm going to pull in here and uh, get some gas before we hit the bank. Don't know, uh, don't know how much it's going to cost, but it's not going to be cheap. $151. Woo! Before I uh, pull out here, we head into town... Uh, Cleaver, uh, Cleaver, Clever Motors, never can pronounce that correctly, but they are, uh, they're here as well. The main John D dealership is behind us, and, uh, over here on the left, I want to make sure I don't hit anybody pulling out. I might, sorry, whoop, here we go, all right. Um, you can see over on the left, they got some, got some nice vehicles in there. I, I'd like to get a, uh, get another pickup truck for the farm, uh, probably gonna, Probably going to buy something from there, see if they can't find me something. Didn't look like they had any dooleys, but we'll spend some money there as well. Whoa! And we just... I tell you, it's a one heck of a railroad crossing there. As you get into town, you got to really be careful with it. So uh, here we are. We're at the bank, pulling in, and uh, I'm going to go in. I'm going to talk. We've got a uh, got a financial advisor here that I think is going to be able to take a look at what funds we can transfer over. The way the way this works, we've got a backer. We've got a lot of money. Um, but we, we create a single account for whatever farm we're renovating, and we just transfer that predetermined amount into the account, uh, whatever that might be, and that, that's what we use to, uh, to get the farm going again. So we're going to go in. I, pr I probably can't film this, 
go and talk with them and we'll see how much we get when we come out. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. And uh, $2.5 million is what we uh, decided on. So the ink is dry. Uh, what am I kidding? There's no ink. It was all electronic. We got the uh, got the money transferred over from the main account into the farm account. And that's what we've got to spend. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'd like to top back of the truck. Let's head to Cleaver Motors. See if they've got a dually. Got to take it easy going over this railroad crossing. That was, that's a lot better there. So I just uh, pulled in here to Cleaver, and they got some decent trucks. I'm kind of eyeing, looks like they got a black Duramax 3500 behind everything. But let's hop out and see what they've got. So I went in, I talked uh, with the folks inside, and, and these this is a used car dealership. Uh, they specialize in, in pickups and, and SUVs. Uh, but really, they can do anything, I'm told. Uh, they don't really have a brand preference, but they've got a lot of GM products on the lot right now. This is a just a 1500, looks like a, uh, a short, short bed. Uh, I think it's got a 48 in it. Another another 1500. This is a Z71 though. Looks like 4x4. This has got a 5.3. Not a huge fan of that. I, I've never been happy with those. The displacement on demand. Got to gotta watch out for that. Uh, 2500. That's got the 6 liter in it. A really good, strong, strong truck right there. Then we get into the newer versions. This is a Duramax, I believe, but it's a short cab, short bed. Probably pass on that. This looks like a, another newer. It's a 3500, but it's not a dual, not a dually. And again, short. Got a nice rack in the back though, and a Dewalt tool kit looks like. But this is what really has caught my eye, right here. This is a beautiful looking truck. I believe this is a 2018. Uh, it's got the LP5 Duramax in it. It's used, very low mileage though, and it's it's. I might be deleted. I don't know. They said 445 horse. Let me get in this truck. Fire it up. I mean, it sounds good. Well, uh, truck's mine. <clears throat> I bought it. Uh, price was a little wrong. It was actually they were asking 55 for it uh, against a 2018. Had a little over 70,000 miles. So out the door with taxes, we were looking about 50, uh, 58, 59 thousand dollars. But I think I got a, re a really good deal. Strong truck here for the farm. Uh, go perfectly with uh, my Super Duty. I'm really not always brand loyal. I just find find the right truck uh that'll do the job and and i'm happy with it so now i gotta, gotta get this thing home well i think that's gonna be it for today we uh got a lot done we got the new duramax on the farm got my truck back we fixed that uh that tire on the trailer and we got all the funding ready to go for the equipment kids are going to be in really soon i think their flight lands tomorrow uh and we gotta get some equipment from the dealership here so we can start farming uh harvest is going to be here before you know it thanks so much for joining us we hope you stay with us here and you farm with the stovers